Hey everybody, this is a Sears smoke detector, Sears early one actually, model 462.57471 smoke detector. Um, and now this is a Gateway Scientific made model. This is actually the very first one that I have owned that is made by Gateway Scientific. I've wanted one of these for a while and I finally have one. Now I actually got this one from my one of my best friends who lives in Ohio. Um, he went to his, um, he works for one of his, re he works for a restore uh, up there, and he went to his manager's house to help uh, remodel, and this was in one of the rooms, and um, I asked about it, um, if he was, if he could replace it or something, um, and apparently he asked the manager, and he said that it was trash, so he took it, and um, apparently they were going to buy a new one, I think, I hope they bought a new one, but uh, yeah, he took it, and um, he mailed it to me, so now I got it, and I'm very happy to have it, so I'm very, very thankful that he was able to get it for me, and thankful for his manager for letting him have it. So, um, yeah, this is a slightly later model. Um, it's from 1985, um, and it's slightly later, you can tell, because it has, right here, you got your regular test button on this side, and this right here is not another test button, that's actually the LED. Um, the LED and the test button are separate on this model for some reason. I'm not sure why they could have easily put it underneath of that clear L uh, clear test button lens. So I don't know why they went through all the trouble to make another hole to put it in. Maybe they were just re maybe it was because for the ones that have like the dual sensor with two test buttons and they just wanted to reuse the extra hole instead of fill it in. I don't know. But who knows what they did. Um, and then so you can see that the design is very similar to the earlier Sears is like the uh, the Firenetics made ones like that and the BRK made ones like this. Um, however, this one came well after these because these are all the, the ones that had the squealer horns came well after those but I'm not sure where these fall in line with the BRK, uh, the 80s BRK models. Um, I think that these ones are earlier. I'm not, not too positive about that. Um, but yeah, so if you take a look at the back, you can see that this one has the uh, square base, kind of similar to like the Honeywell TC49As and TC89Bs that have a square base and a round cover. Um, but yeah, it's got a white base, which is another thing that you can tell that it's later. Um, the earlier ones had black bases. Um, and the earlier ones also had bigger brackets. This one's got a very small little thin metal bracket that just simply pops off if you pry right here. It'll just pop off like that and absolutely no markings on there. Um, but now you can see the entire label on the back. Sears model 462.57471, item number 957471. More information right there. And then the date code is right there, November 5th of 1985. Sorry about that. Um, and then contains radioactive material, americium 241.9 microcuries. And this one was assembled in Mexico, just like the 90s first alerts, which I thought was pretty interesting. Um, and then the battery drawer, there's nothing under under that. Uh, no labeling. In the earlier ones, the manufacturing date was actually in here, in the battery drawer. So this one has it there. Now, um, unlike the BRK the and Firenetics models, this one's cover is sealed, despite the fact that it's like the exact same size. Um, uh, the cover is technically removable. There's a screw in the very middle, but it's under the label, and I really don't want to tear the label to get get it open because it's in like such great condition. So I'm not going to do that. But you can see inside through the really big side vents. You can see right there is the sensor. It's kind of a dome-shaped metal sensor. You can sort of see it. Maybe hold it to the light more. There you go. And then the horn is right here, and as I mentioned, it's an electronic horn, piezo horn. It's kind of an interesting design. It's got the element down there, and then the casing is like on top of it. It's really weird. Um, so yeah. Um, and then of course, unlike this one, the, the, these have their covers uh, removable, as you can see. Um, now, these were made slightly before the Nalcor ones, I believe. Um, 
Although I have a feeling that they were made around the same time. For those of you who don't know, this is what the Nalcor ones look like. Made by Nalcor. Uh, I'm not sure if they were like a electronics brand or something. I actually don't know that much about them. But this one, as you can see, much smaller than these. So that's why I think these came later. And also, this one is dated as well. If I get the bracket off. This one is dated October of 1987. So... This particular one is slightly younger than this one by two years. Um, but you can see they really made a huge design change. So, I guess I will go ahead and test it now for you. So, um, for some reason, this one's test button, you have to push down really, really hard to get it to go off. I have no idea why. Because, like, the test button touches the sensor, like, right there. And it just takes, it, 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 you push it really hard for some reason. So, let's go ahead and test it. So as you can hear, it sounds in a 5.6, and the LED flashes um, when the alarm goes off. It sounds very similar to this one, actually. Although this one's slightly higher pitched and a little bit faster. Um, but yeah, so... Um, the earliest ones of these um, did a continuous piezo blast. Um, and I would really like to find one of those. Uh, I think those also had white buttons. So, yeah. I'd also like to find the square model that had like a... It had the same base, but it had a square cover. And uh, it looked almost like a vent for like an AC system. Pretty cool design. Um, but yeah, Sears also made square ones, uh, which we didn't know until very recently. Um, yeah, the reason... The, now, the way that you can tell the difference between all of these is the side vents. So you can see that the Firenetics model has no side vents at all. The BRK 80s model has slightly bigger side, like kind of big side vents, but like they're, they're pretty small. Um, and then the Gateway Scientific models have the biggest side vents of all. So that's how you can tell the difference. And the earliest BRK models, like the SS74R one that I have, that I forgot, I completely forgot to grab when I was downstairs, has like vents like this, but they're really thin. Like, like about half that size. So, um, yeah, that's about it for this video. I'm going to test this one one more time for you. Maybe. Maybe. Hang on. There you go. See what I mean? You gotta push it down really hard and it hurts my fingers. But that is about it for this video. So that is the Sears early one made by Gateway Scientific 462.57471 smoke detector, as well as appearances from all those. So thank you for watching and more to come.